Hi Acumen followers, this is Diana Strubler, and today I'm going to walk you through some macromatics, or in other words, I'm going to explain how to calculate your MIPS composite performance score. The Merit Based Incentive Payment System, aka MIPS, will determine a clinician's payment adjustment based on how they rank versus their peers. The score that will be used to determine the performance threshold for MIPS is called the MIPS Composite Performance Score. The goal in MIPS is to get a good MIPS Composite Performance Score, or at least be at or above the threshold that is set each year in order to avoid a penalty. In 2017, your MIPS Composite Performance Score will be determined by your performance in three different categories, quality, improvement activities, and advancing care information. Your MIPS score is calculated on a scale from 0 to 100. Each category in MIPS is given a category weight. The sum of all three categories will total 100 possible points. 60 points can be earned in quality, 15 points in improvement activities, and 25 points in advancing care information. The weights of each category will shift over the course of the program. If one of these categories do not apply to you, it will be dropped from the score and another category will be overweighted to make up the difference. Each performance category is scored separately as a percentage of maximum performance within that category. Your performance percentage for each performance category will be weighted and rolled up into the composite performance score. Now that was a mouthful and this is where things get confusing and much easier to describe with a visual. Each MIPS category is assigned a maximum number of category level performance points. For quality, clinicians can earn up to 60 or 70 points. For advancing care information, clinicians can earn up to 100 points. And for improvement activities, clinicians can earn up to 20 or 40 points. Your category level performance score will be determined by taking the total number of points you earned divided by the total number of points available in that category. For example, if you earned 80 points in advancing care information, you would divide that by the 100 possible points available. This will give you a category level performance score of 80%. You would then multiply that score by the overall category weight assigned, which is 25%. In this case, 0.8, the category performance score, multiplied by 0.25, the overall category weight, will result in 0.2 earned in the advancing care information category. You will repeat this process for each category and add up all the parts, then multiply by 100. This will be your MIPS Composite Performance Score. All right, now for the fun stuff. Once your MIPS Composite Performance Score is calculated, it will be compared against the threshold that CMS has set for that performance year. If you are below the threshold, you'll receive a penalty. If you are at the threshold, you'll remain neutral. If you are over the threshold, you can earn bonus dollars. During the 2017 transition year, the threshold is set at 3. That means you will need to earn a MIPS score of 3 or higher to avoid a penalty. Now this is a very simple goal to meet. Simply submitting one quality measure, one improvement activity, or your base measures under advancing care information will automatically earn you 3 or more points. As you can see from this image, clinicians with a MIPS composite score of less than 3 will receive a penalty in 2019. Clinicians with a score of exactly 3 will remain neutral. Clinicians with a score ranging from 4 to 69 are eligible for a positive payment adjustment. And clinicians with a score of 70 points or higher are eligible for not only a positive adjustment, but also an exceptional performance bonus. MACRA allows for up to $500 million each year in additional positive adjustments for exceptional performance. In total, CMS estimates around $3 billion will be allocated to positive adjustments over six years and split between high achievers. 
For more details on Macro MIPS or how to earn MIPS category points, head over to our blog at acumenmd.com blog. Also remember to follow us on Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter for our MIPS tips each Tuesday. Until then, happy reading and we'll talk to you soon.